to honour the greatest spy of all, Omega, I bring you this. That's not a watch. This is a watch. That sounded a lot more Danish than Sean Connery. But this, um, this it was also is a bit a, crocodile Dundee. What it, was, it, it all got a bit weird. I'll be honest. Uh, this is the brand new Bond Omega watch. Uh, it is identical. To 007's watch in No Time to Die, the latest Bond film delayed, of course, by things outside of their control in cinemas and theatres everywhere, September the 30th. Uh, 42mm Seamaster, uh, strong yet lightweight grade 2 titanium, and it sports a brown topical aluminium bezel, ring, and dial. Uh, it's slightly slimmer than the standard diver, 300mm uh, models, 300m uh, models, sorry. Um, it's got uh, a sapphire crystal doming glass, a uh, grade two titanium mesh bracelet, which I think looks lovely. Uh, if you are a spy, it will do well. Uh, it's got magnetic resistance, of course, and has achieved the industry's highest standards of precision and chronometric performance. And what do we think? Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to tick talk. <laughs> no, I, I absolutely love this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think this is absolutely stunning. Um, Omega have always done right with the Bond watches, um, although I think traditionalists would maybe kind of argue that uh, Bond should wear a Rolex. Mm -hmm. However, um, since GoldenEye was at 95, mm -hmm. Bond has worn an Omega timepiece on screen, and it's never done him wrong. Uh, I love the, the mix of the black, silver, kind of the copper tones as well on this. Um, something that we're also seeing from Tudor and Breitling watches of late. Mm. It even comes an extremely stylish kind of canvas style pouch that is just stunning. But I know you're about to break my heart. How much is it? It's can... 7,880 oh. pounds. So it's yeah. quite expensive. Um, but even though it's a themed watch, so 007, obviously, you could wear it and it is passable as a watch for multiple occasions. So you're not wearing yeah. this to the opera or to some sort of gala ball or gala bingo. Well, you could wear it to gala bingo. Um, but for an everyday, kind of looking good and all the rest of it, Banging. I think it's really good. They've done a good job of not making it too Bond. You could have, you know, you, you could have what's his face. You could have Bond's face on his, on the on the on the front. You could have, you know, a small car running through the, like an Aston Martin running down a strap and, and, and all the rest of it. Uh, but they haven't gone OTT. It's very much an Omega that stands up to being an Omega, right? Not very much so, yeah. Uh, the the ones that kind of have the the double O seven or the the name of the film of that on the face, mm. they do put me off a bit because mm. obviously they're still fantastic timepieces, but they've got so much longevity. And if somebody sees it, it looks like you're wearing a promotional item, mm -hmm. not necessarily a watch you've spent almost eight thousand pounds on. This is the thing, right? You don't want to be running around like you've got it out of a Happy Meal when you're spending seven eight thousand pounds of hard-earned cash on a on a watch residual values we are not watch experts so i couldn't tell you uh, i don't think this is a limited piece i think you can basically order them until i imagine they just run out um but um that I, I, you know they stand in good stead there's going to be enthusiasts all over the world that are interested in these kind of things uh, i'll probably stick to buying the 007 themed heineken uh, which yeah. has been a thing for the last few years um but overall I think it's very, very nice. Congratulations to you, Omega, for producing a very subtle yet very uh, considerate homage yes. to the man 
who has murdered many partners accidentally or on purpose. So well done. But tell us in the comments, what do you think of the Omega 007? Another Alan Partridge reference there. Uh, it's very Alan Partridge heavy show. Uh, Omega As opposed Seamaster. to the slick professionalism that we always have. Uh, true. It's, it's, it's borderline at best. But tell us what you think. Tell us what you think of that.